Oh my. The volume's louder for one thing. I really like the Grunty's Lair Mumbo rendition. It's very nice. I knew I'd be doing that eventually. These are notes. They're pretty important. There are a hundred on each world. These are like the coins in Mario, except, uh, they are in fact necessary at one point or another. They become necessary. Controls, camera. There we go. Yeah, even this game, as perfect as I think it is, uh, doesn't have the best swimming controls. Sometimes the camera fights you. You saved me. Ow. Yeah, so, you know, you might want to... Dude, stop it. I need this honey already, goodness. Yeah, this is the HP in this game, because you're a bear, you know, haha, -ha, so stereotypical. At one point, I want to point something out, or I can do it right now. Jiggy, you're not a car, going beep beep, silly Jiggy. Silly Jiggy, you're not a car. Hey, bottles. The town dreadle like Kazooie attack or sleep. What am I doing with these? My assignment is useful. How does she do it? I forgot Banjo's voice already. Hold Z and controls. Turn with you. Go practice on the thing. Except, you know what? We're gonna say forget practice and go over here. Now we can basically run faster, or walk faster. This is um, a mumbo token. These will be important for later. There are five in this world, and then uh, you will end up needing them. But yeah, these become really important later. You do not need, you can get all five for this world, but you don't need to use the transformation actually for this world to uh, get all the jiggies, you can actually avoid it, but you know. You must search for 10 of jiggies on each world. They help you progress through the witch's lair. It's pretty great. When you're ready to leave, because I think you have enough jiggies, to open Treasure Trove Cove, actually. So, you know, that's kind of crazy. We didn't get to see the Jiggy Dance! That sucks. Um, I want to talk about something. I just don't know what. But this is a Ticker's Tower. But the beta of this, uh, area, but the beta of Mumbo's Mountain Music is, sl is remixed, but it is in Ticker's Tower, so, you know, that's cool. This is the Beak Buster. Go in the air, and then press Z to send Kazooie into the ground. Don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Oh. Get used to it, nice girl, you'll be using it. A lot. A lot we will. At least once per world. In my case. Because I plan to use it. Once per world, at least. Also, um, if you want to 100% the game, you will have to go all the way around this place. Dude. All the way around this world to, uh, get all the stuff. We don't have the ability to fire eggs right now. We'll go get that in a minute. The 
this is not the final Jinjo. There is indeed another. And then now that we have 50 notes, we can open the first no note door that we have not seen yet, actually. So, you know, that's, that's cool. Okay, there's a, there's two. I want to get everything we can with Banjo before we become our alternate form. And then we actually need to, uh, collect the, uh, the, uh, the, um, all the tokens to transform, actually, before we can. Also, there's an easy jiggy right there. So, you know. Also, when I first played uh, this on my practice file, this is really sad, but it took me 20 minutes to finish this world. So, you know, it's kind of really sad. Because there are people who, even though they're speedrunning it, they have beaten this world in five minutes. So, you know, that's kind of crazy. And then, um, like the main world, how there were six honeycomb pieces, uh, there are two. There are two un empty honeycomb pieces in the, in each world. Sorry about that sudden glare. Um... But that's how you get that jiggy. I'm really starting to decide to redo this because the glare is just like horrible. Even though there isn't the glare. Also, um, you want to come up here and then get this. Also, it's about no. It doesn't matter. You want to do this so you can feed Diddy Kong. Oh, it's nice. This also gets you a uh, jiggy as well. You get like half of the jiggies in this world, in this one area. It's crazy. Yeah. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Press. Hold Z, then press the up C button. To shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, that sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press the bottom C button instead and you can shoot them from the other way. That sounds painful. Wish I'd never asked. Bird Brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. It's always handy. Oh, and you can use the control stick to aim. A little bit. So, you know, that, that's pretty cool. Now that you've heard the eggs, he gave you 50. And then he will fill your life up if you're low a little bit. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Also, I know this dialogue already because... I've played through the game a couple times. Also, those are the five Ekim tokens in this world. These are witch switches. They make jiggies appear on the main world in the, the hub world, Grun Grunty's Lair. There's one for each world. Counting the jiggy that we used to unlock Mumbo's Mountain, there are ten in uh, each world. Um. Ah. ah, that wasn't nice. Oh, you have to hit him when he does the thing. I didn't know that. Or actually, I kind of did. <laughs> but, you know, I just said that to say it. There's our next Jiggy. I want to 
get as much stuff in this world done as I can. But yeah, that's what happens when you get all the jiggies and mumbo and uh, all the gingos. Sorry. Where am I forgetting jiggy or not jiggies? Uh, notes. I think I might be forgetting some. I really hope I'm not. Okay, I'm not. I'm not forgetting any. Okay, we have eight. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We just need to, uh, go over here, and then now with the egg shoot, uh, oh, I missed it, but for this one you want to, uh, oh my gosh, when there's one left, get on top of it, and then do a backflip to get the first honeycomb piece. When you get rid of all ten, they will give you a jiggy. It's like a cramp in my foot, and it hurts. It just does. Yeah, uh, there are some notes in here. Hello, Mumbo. Me, Mumbo, best charming in all the game. Can help banjo and filthy feather. <laughs> Watch it, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Yeah, we have enough tokens. There are five on the sign. You press B on the pad to activate it. Um, take this into consideration. You can go up here. There's nothing up here right now, but there will be later. So, you know, take that into consideration. This is termite. Uh, there's. A, I'm getting this for a reason because I cannot speed run, and I think I have the uh, version where you cannot jump up the slopes or do whatever you want on the slopes. So you know. Um, this is Ticker's Tower. I'm gonna let you hear the music. Hopefully, I don't fall down. When you get a hundred notes, you get a life. I fell down. Oh, gee, get out of the crevice. Up here, there is some eggs. Up here, there is some eggs. This is the top of Ticker's Tower. There's a life right here. We have seven lives already. You can have ten in total. That is all ten lives. You do not take fall damage when you are a... Uh, when you are a uh, termite. Yeah, there it is. And then this is where the second uh, honeycomb piece is. And I fell down. And that sucks. But, uh, what that does is it'll explain the best note score. You take the term. Take all the transformations out into the lair besides the, uh, the, uh, the free, the, uh, ice world. Because you can't do anything with that transformation. For this one, you want to jump up here, and then you will get this jiggy. And I beat all of Mumbo's Mountain in less than 15 minutes. I just accomplished something great. So, next time on, uh, on a Banjo Kazooie, we will explore the rest of Grunty's Lair, or just more of it, for a better word. And, you know, see you then.